Welcome to KNX Tutorial 7 Programming of DALI Lighting using KNX DALI Gateway In this tutorial I'm gonna quickly show you how to uh, how to program DALI Lighting using KNX Gateway and I'm gonna quick I'm gonna just uh, quickly show you a overview of cabling as well so how we do the uh, DALI uh, cabling and KNX cabling and how we do the DALI addressing as well later okay so the first thing is what is uh, DALI so DALI is digital addressable lighting interface uh, DALI is not a product uh, uh, it is a standard or a protocol for lighting control it's exactly same like we have KNX standard or IP internet protocol so it's uh, it's exactly same thing but different purpose so uh, some is for uh, KNX is, is a general for lots of different things and that is specific for lighting and same thing uh, IP as well so DALI is what it does is you don't need to do any uh, like through one cable you can uh, divide subdivide the lights uh, lights uh, actually you can address each and every light and then you can control that a, a each and every light by using the same cable so you don't like it's make life easier uh, for like it's a wide most uh, a wide complex cabling and then you have a control of each and every light as well so this is how DALI wiring is so this is power DALI wiring so how the wire so this is DALI bus we call it DALI bus so this is DALI bus and this is going on so it just keep going on going on so and what this point we have one DALI LED connected here and then they call it fixture so complete is fixture and then another there will be another one somewhere and there will be another one somewhere and the maximum we can connect up to 64 on this one line and each line each light each fixture it will need DALI in so like DALI uh, plus and minus doesn't matter whether direction doesn't matter and then we will have obviously power line neutral and out and then the uh, light itself uh, it could be this could be LED uh, spotlight it could be LED strip light could be some chandelier or could be anything it's just something which is uh, compatible which which have a, dr a DALI driver available that you can control of that so this is a DALI structure uh, DALI bus cabling and the next step I will show you how we connect this with uh, KNX so now as we share as I show you fitting one and then there will be fitting two fitting three fitting four and maximum up to 64 and then the DALI cable is coming in to uh, our KNX device, DALI device. So here, a uh, like channel one is connected here, and this one is actually this is two channel DALI gateway, AVB two channel DALI gateway, and you can uh, connect two different channels. So this one, you will have sixty four lights you can connect here, and then sixty four light you can connect here, maximum sixty four light. Uh, ideal cable is because you need uh, for a DALI light you need power and then you need DALI control so ideal cable is 5 core flex or something like that well, mostly people using 5, four, five core flex uh, you can do uh, separate separate cabling as well if you want but 5 core is much easier like 2 core and 3 core 
so what I'm using here is I'm using and I'm gonna just I'm not gonna create the program but I will just show you how uh, uh, how you can change the different setting in the Dali gateway itself and then uh, the lighting uh, the the groom the links it's completely uh, the programming it's completely uh, exactly same like we did for dimmer in tutorial one okay so let's go to uh, programming so here I have added exact already added this device here. So if you go Canex cabinet, we have a device which is Dali Gateway. Let's see, this is a DGS 1.64.1.1 Dali Gateway Basic 1 MDRC. So this is one channel Dali Gateway. With one channel, you can have up to maximum. Uh, up to like a normal way you can have up to 16 groups so if you go into the groups so you can see how many groups we have one two three and you can have up to 16 groups 16 are a lot of groups so I'm sure they will they, they are mostly enough but if in case in this 16 groups you will have to control all the 64 lights now if in case you want uh, if you need more groups than 16 then you can go to uh, general I think so Dali yeah Dali output so you can enable Dali ballast individual control as well so if I enable here so you can see the ballast as well so you can control all the 64 bellis individually as well if I want if I if I did it like 64 is individual then I will not be able to add this to a group this uh, specific light so that will be completely individual so you can do like that as well but I'm not doing that uh, and then we had I'll just enable a few uh, you can I'll just enable three groups uh, here if you go to output here somewhere here you can enable status as well switch status okay I'll enable the switch status as well after change our request and then go to the let's click on the device and go to the group objects go to the group objects okay um, so let's let's go link with the group addresses entry lighting so we have chandelier exactly the same thing switch status chandelier on and off switch status dimming and this one if you want to send a specific value percentage value and the same thing you link with the Let's suppose the spotlight is also uh, entry spotlights are also daily lights. So what I'll do create groups here, switch status and relative dimming. Now this is group two, yeah. Here the entry spotlights are linked it to group two and the shun layer into group one. So remember I've done it chandelier in group one and spotlight in group two and let's suppose we have four or eight spotlight and one chandelier somewhere on the on the, on the job and then you can control them exactly that the rest of the programming is exactly the same so let's go back to the slides the next thing is once uh, let's once let's go back to ets so once i've created these groups i'll download this device uh, full download I'll download this everything to the uh, KNX device now after downloading that device nothing will work nothing will work because you have to address 
the dali light and group them to group one and group two which we are using in this example so after downloading you go to a next step which is addressing of the dali lighting so abb have use ab uh, ibus tool which i really like it and it's very easy to address the light and create groups uh, then uh, yeah young have a different way they do addressing on different way uh, gear up have different and all the different manufacturers have their different ways of doing it so mostly i use abb devices and ibus tools so for dali which is which is pretty easy let's go to the next slide so after after you made a connection to usb interface and then you log into dali device itself like 1.1.1 then you will be able to see all the lights there and then the groups you can add them to the groups so let's suppose we create group one uh, go back so the group one was chandelier so i will click on i'll find down find out here which one is the chandelier let's suppose 12 is chandelier so i will link this group this uh, to i will drag this to group one add them to group one and then group two uh, let's suppose one to eight was spotlight so i will add all of them into group two and after after doing this grouping the knx lighting will start working as well so you should be able to control the light after that so that's all uh, thanks for watching and please do let me know if you got any questions or uh, anything is confusing just write me an email and i will reply to that